As I mentioned in one of my videos yesterday on what to expect today, either it was we had another, you know, big, oh, I mean big, we have another decent move like 10, 15, maybe 20% or we end up on the red. Actually, I wouldn't really call this day a red, which is what I would call a flat day. But I'm not worried about this action because, you know, first of all, we have a new high on the trading session today. And when you look at what happened yesterday, you know, I would expect day traders to come in and really, you know, start playing because they love such plays where you can have massive runs on a quick, you know, range. Now, the fact that we had, you know, reached 48.26 intraday in the morning, you know, based on what happened yesterday, those kind of traders were expecting this to also maybe happen the same way it did yesterday. Again, especially having an 8% gain at the beginning of the trading session this morning. But as we were getting closer and closer to the closing bell, this guy decided, hey, we are not seeing any major indicator signaling another spike. The volume is kind of, you know, steady. We are not seeing anything. So before this thing drops, let me just get out and close on some of the profits I've made today. And that's why we'll explain, you know, this drop, this, you know, sell off into the close of today. But it doesn't matter because we all know what is at stake here. But when you look at Ortex, what they had to say, they're actually signaling, they're actually signaling, you know, another short squeeze in the pipe for AMC because based on the recent price increase and the high shorting level in AMC, it will make sense, right? It will make sense because when you look at some of the recent short sellers who get into the play, if they got in around $30 where we were, uh, 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 two months ago, around here, they were expecting this to go back down to what, maybe the 25 or the 22, they got knocked out, okay? And that caused some margin call liquidation for those, but also consequently creating a, a perfect setup for a gamma squeeze. What do I mean by that? Well, when you look at the option chain of AMC, it's off the chart, okay? We have now calls for strike or option for a strike around $95 a share. That is incredible. It means a lot of people, a lot of investors in the market are expecting this trend to continue, which is good, which is definitely good. But this is a perfect setup because the more we have that domino effect on the short sellers being kicked out of the play, you know, it increases the share price because they are covering. But in the meantime, it increases the amount of all the options already in the money and also out of the money. I mean, if you look at here, you can see that, you know, we have 115,000 contracts in the money, actually. I mean, look at the actual, you know, the same volume for the in the money puts. This is incredible. I mean, look at 115,000 against 6.5 thousand. <laughs> so it tells you how big, you know, the, 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 the open interest are into this, into this play when it comes to the option market. So back to what I was saying, when you have such this, you know, the more the price will go up in a quick, you know, short of time, the market makers will have to ultimately will have to hedge their positions in the options they are already selling given the share price. So that will also have another gamma squeeze in the play. And this gamma squeeze will also shoot up the price even higher than creating another domino effect for some of the short sellers who came in around the 50 or the 48 or the 45, given the fact that the price will continue to shut up. Okay. So I'm seeing here, you know, a, 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 a good trend moving forward, even though today we end up closing flat. But guys, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. 